Okay. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the new dynamic paint tools uh, in Blender. Um, and uh, what we're going to do today is just uh, one of the features, and that is a simulation of uh, making footprints in uh, in the snow, so to speak. This is what you could use this for. Uh, it's basically just displacement uh, using the dy dynamic paint uh, to uh, do displacement. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go, uh, first of all, let's start out here with the cube and uh, go ahead and delete that default cube, hit X, get that out of the way. And we're going to add a plane. Now let's position this. I should have uh, done that before I added it. Okay, size it up a bit. Um, let's get it to where we can see it better. Size it up some more. Okay, now just tab into um, edit mode and subdivide it a few times. And yeah, that'll do it right there. Um, okay, now, oops. Now, what we want to do is uh, uh, we're ready to, we shouldn't have deleted the default cube. So I'm moving the cursor up there. So we're going to add a cube again. <laughs> Should have left it in there. And uh, position this. And we're going to turn this cube into a foot so we can. Uh, demonstrate the footprints. Okay, now uh, you tab into edit mode, go to face select mode, select that end face there, E to extrude and pull this out, like so. Hit that top one, extrude that up, and uh, okay, we need to get that plane out of the way. It's kind of in the way. So go to your um, Outliner, pull this down, hit that eye, get rid of the plane. All right, now uh, line select mode, hit, uh, select that bottom line there and move it up. Just give it the shape of a foot. And now we can uh, go over to our modifiers tab. Just pull this, pull this over so we can see all our tabs. Go to modifiers and add a subsurf modifier. Level two. Let's crank that up. There we go. Level two. Um, Want to smooth shade this. So tab out of edit mode. Um, and hit smooth shading. Tab back into edit mode. That looks nice. Now we're going to increase the mean crease on this bottom line here that we had selected. So scroll up there on the uh, properties panel and increase that. And then select this other line here. Um, uh, go to wireframe mode so you can see it better. That's the line we want selected, and we'll increase the increase to one on that as well. Now tab or uh, solid view. We can tab out of edit mode, and uh, now we got our foot. All right, so we can add our plane back. And what we want to do now is with our plane, uh, oh, we'll size this down first, get it to about where we want it. And position it. So we're going to start now. Um, go over to the physics tab and select that, and make sure you select the plane first. We'll do this one first, and uh, hit the new dynamic paint uh, modifier. And uh, see canvas. Add canvas. We're going to make this. The plane is a canvas. So we're going to go down to dynamic paint advanced surface type and go up to displace. And that's the effect we want it to have. We want the foot to uh, displace the vert vertices. Now select the foot, go to dy not dynamic paint as well, and this time add brush, and we can leave everything the same. Don't need to change anything here. And now, um, let's go ahead and... Um, keyframe this, so I to keyframe, set location, move up 10 frames, uh, move it the foot down, I to set another keyframe location, another 10 frames, 
And we're just going to make this like it's a walking effect. So just uh, keep keyframing it like uh, about right there. Keyframe. Move it over, down. Keyframe. 10 frames up. Just keep, just keep doing this. So you can see the indentation already that it's having. And um, the last one, when uh, do the last keyframe, I'm going to make it slide across the canvas. And I'm doing it at different depths too. You can see that last one is not is a little more shallow than the others. And uh, in fact, this last one I'm going to make it uh, deeper. Let's go over a little bit. Let's go down. Let's go down a little more. I think. Yeah. Make it nice and deep, and just slide it across. Now we'll keyframe it right about here. Now set it back and play, and you can see it making the indentations. It's just like a walking effect. Let's scroll around. The, oh, let's change this down to 100 frames. So the end frame, it, it'll just loop. Okay. Now you can see the effect, and it's that easy, guys. There's not much to it. The new dynamic paint tools will help us out a lot. Now, this is just one of the features with um, dynamic paint uh, displacement feature. Uh, I'll make future tutorials on uh, some of the other things you can do um, in the future. Yeah, if you select the plane here and hit smooth shading too, that'll take away the blocky effect. There, that looks a lot better. Okay. Well, that's all there is to it. Thanks uh, for watching, guys.